Hello, and welcome to McKinney Vento Homeless Training for Counseling Staff. The purpose of this training is to provide counseling staff with information regarding this federal law and how you can help. Lead area liaisons throughout the state of Illinois are collaborating to create this training. Often when we think of the term homeless, we think of a similar picture such as this, no home, no money, no job, and hungry. Unfortunately, the term homeless is associated with the negative stigma, which leads families to try and hide their situation because they are ashamed and embarrassed. We encourage educators and staff to use the terms in transition, highly mobile, or McKinney-Vento eligible to be sensitive to these family situations. The McKinney-Vento law defines the term homeless much differently than the stereotype. It defines McKinney-Vento eligible children and youth to be those who lack a fixed regular, and adequate nighttime residents. Let's dig a little deeper into each of these identifiers. Fixed means a residence that is stationary, permanent, and not subject to change or not easily moved. Living in an RV or car would not be classified as fixed since they are easily moved, so the student living in this RV would qualify as being McKinney-Vento eligible. Regular. It means a residence that is being used on a regular basis. If a teenager has been kicked out of his home or has chosen to leave and is couch surfing, staying with various friends, then he would be considered McKinney-Vento eligible. Adequate. An adequate residence is one that is sufficient for meeting both the physical and psychological needs typically met in home environments. This would include situations of overcrowding with too many people for the square footage, Inadequate heating, electricity, plumbing, running water, and even bug infestations would also be included. The families that tend to be fairly easy to identify might be sleeping in a tent or in a shelter, sleeping at a hotel, or any place that isn't designated for people to reside in, such as a laundromat. The families that are harder to identify are the ones that are doubled up or couch surfing. Families often are staying with friends or other family members because they cannot afford a place of their own. Teens who have left their homes for whatever the reason, who may be hopping from place to place or staying with a friend or relative, are unaccompanied youth and McKinney-Vento eligible. Registration should be your best opportunity to identify McKinney-Vento eligible students, but the questions on the registration form will determine your success, especially with online registration. There are no financial requirements for families dealing with a disaster, like a tornado or flood. If they are displaced from their home, they are considered McKinney-Vento eligible. All McKinney-Vento eligible students pre-K through 12th grade should be identified. You've just identified a student as McKinney-Vento eligible. What can you as a counselor do? Here are some general suggestions. Ask the student how they are doing and then really listen to what the student has to say. What we may think may be best for them may not coincide with their wishes. We must assist them on their journey. Ask if they have an adult who they can turn to or feel comfortable talking to. You may need to brainstorm with the student some possible safe options. A caring adult can make a huge difference for our students. Ask if they have a safe place to stay short-term or long-term. You may again have to brainstorm with them and connect them with emergency housing resources. Remember that homelessness may look different for each student and what they are experiencing can make education very difficult for them. Survival will seem much more important than education. Help students solve problems as this will be a great life skill. Work with the homeless liaison and transportation director to make sure that the student has transportation to and from school. This may mean a school bus or a city bus pass or another means of transportation. Is the student working? Do they have what they need to be successful at work? Make sure that the student is getting free meals at school. Connect them with local resources to make sure that they have enough to eat including using benefits from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program called SNAP and local food pantries. 
Do they have school supplies? Are there supplies needed for specific classes that they have access to? Do they have access to Wi-Fi, an increasingly essential need? Most internet providers have a free or low-cost option for McKinney-Vento eligible families and those that qualify based on income. What about basic hygiene supplies? Connect the student with the homeless liaison or local agency to provide the needed supplies. Do they have access to all educational services? McKinney-Vento eligible students automatically qualify for Title I services. Do they have access to their schoolwork and books? This may seem basic, but many times things are left behind during a transition. Do they take any medications? Do they have access to them? Do they have all the documents that they need? Birth certificates in the state of Illinois are free for McKinney-Vento eligible individuals and families. When the needs are many, you often have to use resources from multiple agencies and sources. Coordinate with your social worker, your local McKinney-Vento liaison, your intermediate service center provider, or your regional office of education liaison who may be able to offer additional support and services. What if the student you are working with is in high school? Here are some additional supports that you can provide to help the student get to graduation and beyond. Make sure that transcripts are accurate and complete. Give partial credit for work done, even if that means a quarter credit if the student leaves halfway through the semester. Meet with the student regularly to chart their progress toward graduation and make sure that they are on track. If they are behind, consider credit recovery options. Create a safe space and time for doing schoolwork so the student can get the work done. Connect the student with tutors and mentors as necessary. Consider creating a calendar with deadlines for attending colleges such as ACT, SAT dates. This calendar can be a helpful resource to all students, not just McKinney-Vento eligible students. McKinney-Vento eligible youth have access to free ACT and SAT tests. Currently, students should be able to take the ACT four times free per lifetime and the SAT two times free with or without the essay and two free question and answer service reports. Help the students get the waivers needed to take these tests for free. Students eligible for free SAT and ACT tests are also eligible for fee waivers for the common application for college. Provide scholarship information to students and encourage them to apply. Write letters of recommendation and provide them with copies. Consider creating a mentoring group of students who will work together to navigate the college process together with supervision. Many of the McKinney-Vento eligible students may not have the support at home and may not realize what their options are post high school or how to achieve those goals. Unaccompanied youth filling out the FAFSA will need a verification of unaccompanied homeless status. I will put a link to this verification in the notes. Make sure that they have this documentation and make sure that they know that they will not need their parent or guardian's financial information. If you don't feel comfortable helping an unaccompanied youth fill out their FAFSA information, please refer them to their local community college's financial aid office. The Consolidated Appropriations Act has an effective date of July 1, 2023. Any college student who is determined to be an unaccompanied homeless youth in the preceding award year will be considered to be an independent for each following year at that same institution unless the student informs them that circumstances have changed or the institution has specific conflicting information about the student's independence. This means that the student does not need the determination letter that declares a student to be an unaccompanied homeless youth each year. Some colleges and universities have created academic retention centers that work specifically with homeless students. Consider recommending these schools to your unaccompanied homeless youth who will benefit from this support system. 
Not all high school students are interested in attending college. Consider encouraging a career and technical education, or a CTE, program that will help prepare them for high-demand careers while still in high school. Connect your students with Workforce, where their vocational or certificate program may be funded. Even if this is not their end goal, completing a certificate program may help them be more highly paid so they have a better chance of reaching their ultimate goal. Making the transition from high school to any form of higher education or a career may be particularly difficult for the McKinney-Vento eligible student, and you as their counselor can help them make that transition to have a lasting impact upon their life. If you have any questions, you may contact your local McKinney-Vento liaison, or you can reach out to your lead area liaison for assistance. You can find your area liaison by using this map, which will also be found in the notes. For more information on McKinney-Vento and Illinois schools, please visit www.isb.net slash pages slash homeless dot ASPX. Your lead area liaisons of Illinois have collaborated to bring you this training.